Hello there, I am Giant Grodd of Moy. Let's play The Legend of Zelda for the NES. In the last part, we took on level 6 temple, and now we're gonna take on level 7 temple. But before we do that, I wanna actually get um something you need for like this uh, the seventh uh, level temple. The what the seven level seven level seven temple, there we go. I can actually talk to <laughs> I don't know. Um we actually need this thing called bait, which I think I'll, I'll show you where to get it for 60 rupees. I think that's the cheapest place you can get it. Um, the same place we get the cheapest magical shield, I think, for 90 rupees, which I again bought off. I bought in the during the uh, in between videos because I lost mine in the last part because I like like ate it. But yeah, see, I have a new magical shield, so that's pretty cool. But um, the same shop with that one where the magical shield is $90, I think the bait's 100 in that one. So, like, if you if you, I think this is the cheapest you can get it, if the shop that I'm gonna show you, and um, yeah. It's gonna be 60 rupees, which is significantly cheaper than the 100 rupees you would pay, pay other way. You would pay um, for, in a different shop around Hyrule, so keep that in mind. Then we gotta just get, I'm just gonna zoom past these enemies, and we're gonna quickly make it to the shop. It's the same shop that um, we got the blue ring at, so keep that in mind. That's cool, I guess. Okay. okay gotta get rid of these. Ah, oh, no. Thank you for dropping a heart. There we go, okay. It's this middle one right here. Just take him out. There we go. Take out the guard, I mean. Boy, this stuff is really expensive. Haha, <laughs> yeah. But not the bait. The bait is what you see right here. It's like the meat on the bone. You'll need it for the seventh uh, level temple, so keep that in mind. Ah, oh, shoot. He's gonna go crazy. He's gonna go crazy, man. Okay, good. We, got we defeated him before he went too crazy. Yeah, let's just make our way to the seventh level temp the seven level seven temple. There we go. And yeah. Here's a fountain here's a fairy fountain up here if you need to regain your health. But I don't need to, so yeah. I think I pointed that one earlier in the uh, let's play, but you know, just just in case you were wondering where a fairy fountain was if you like low on health. Yeah, this is where the level seven temple entrance is, but it's covered with this pond of water. You know, so what you wanna do is pull out your recorder. And use it. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do. Nice. And then there we go. Stairs will appear, and this is where level seven temple entrance is. So let's go into it. Yeah. Okay. So we want to go right. And then uh, we don't need to face this enemy. I'm gonna try to skip it. Well, actually, since it's just out, yeah, it's gonna block its way. I don't wanna get, I don't know if I'm just hitting it, so I'm just gonna take it out with my sword laser, this, because I have full health and stuff. I can just. Ooh, 5 rupees, nice. And there we go. Oh, we get bombs too, although we have already 12 bombs already. Also, in this um, temple, we're gonna get another uh, bomb, um, bomb upgrade, for, and it costs 100 rupees, so you wanna have around 160 rupees. 60 to get the bait, of course, and then the other 100 left over to get the um, bomb upgrade, because you really do want this bomb upgrade, because, you know, it'll go from we can carry um, 12 bombs to 16 bombs. So yeah, I'm gonna use my boot candle now to light up the room. And then, we wanna bomb this top wall up here, so let's do that. Bomb the top wall. Okay, cool. Go up. Defeat these enemies. Actually, I want to put. I want to actually use my blue candle again. And again, also, I got a red potion off screen or a second potion because I'm really bad. I've already explained it, so I'll stop actually saying I'm really bad. Because you probably, you guys all probably know that. I am bad at this game. I mean, if I were to guess, my death count would probably be around 12 right now. Maybe 14. I'm gonna go with my final answer. Is, my final guess is 14. So, at f I'm guessing at this point in this let's play, I have 14 deaths. So, cool. This one's holding the compass. Let's take out these guys. These are dropping some pretty cool items like hearts and rupees, and it's nice. Okay. So, I'm gonna go left now. Okay, we got, we got, remember these enemies, the boomerang guys? Yeah. Shoot, they hit me. 
No, 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 I, I walked right in that. I walked right into the boomerang. Thank you for dropping hard, though. Awesome. Okay. So, I'm gonna go left again. And use key up. I think we can just avoid these Dodongos for now. I bet you Lex to have more bombs. Of course I do. Now we can hold up to 16 bombs, which is pretty cool. But yeah. I'm gonna go down. And to the right. And then up. Okay, these keys are so annoying. I, 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 don't, I don't even know how many times I've said that in this let's play that the keys are annoying. The keys are annoying. Oh, stop it. Stop pushing me into the enemy. I don't like that. Okay, got the heart. Oh man, I still have a heart left from all the Dang it. Okay, let's go. Okay, we can just go all the way to the left too quick. So yeah. Just skip these guys. Bombs, okay, cool. Up. Grumble, grumble. Okay. We're gonna go to our bait then, because this is the guy that needs the bait, and um, he, if you go past him, you, you can't um, you can't go past him like if I cry doing that. It's like an invisible wall. You just want to give him the bait, and he'll be happy, and he'll be no longer hungry and stuff like that. That's awesome. And if you try to attack him, the fi these fireballs, these will shoot fireballs at you, and then you'll eventually like get hurt and maybe die. So just want to give him the bait. Make sure you come prepared with the bait. And it's only 60 rupees at the place I, at the shop I showed you guys at, so it's all good. Okay. Yeah, use a blue candle because I think this is a dark room. Yeah. Okay. Dang, I get hit. I don't like it when I get hit. <laughs> Let's grab the map though. No, I can't use my sword, dang it. Oh, but that's gonna suck. There we go. These bubbles are like the most annoying enemy in my opinion right now. Oh, in this circumstance. So if I can just get rid of this enemy right here, be nice. There we go. Okay. So... I'm gonna bomb this top wall. With a bomb, of course. I can just get over there. Stop it, you bubbles. They're so annoying. I don't like you. Go, okay. I'm gonna grab the rupees. Um, bomb the right wall. I'll get my bombs out again. Okay. Okay, and I think these are more enemies. Yeah. Come on, I could drop like two hearts or a fairy or something. That's a lot to ask for, but seriously. Can you drop a fairy? Okay, I'll take a recovery hard. Okay, cool. Push this block down, or is it this block? I'm not sure. Hmm. Guess we can go right. Okay, um. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to defeat all these enemies, but I will just in case. Nice, that's perfect health and in the area and stuff. That's awesome. That timed it. That came. That was timed right and stuff. I don't even know what to say anymore.
Oh, recovery rights. Okay. So... I'm not even sure anymore. Hmm... Let's see we open this door. I may have just used the key that I wasn't Dang it. I have to get one off screen or something. I'm not sure what to do. Guessing. Because... Not even sure. On this wall. Yeah, okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, we gotta defeat these enemies next. I think I'll just attack him from a distance. Push this block down. guys let's just attack him from a distance this is fun just attacking him from a distance and then more bombs okay mini boss so I can much take out their quarter and we can just attack him okay cool go up okay I don't know. Sure. Okay. Sure, I didn't mean to play a bomb. Okay, we gotta push this block next. Case. Go. Awesome. Cool. Let's just attack these guys. right wall. I may have done that too fast. Okay, never mind. It works. Okay. And then I think the um, this boss in this one is just Aquamentus again. Which I don't know the name of now. I can't even grab the hockey with the booming. Okay, whatever. But yeah, I didn't even need my I didn't even need my red potion at all. That was really nice, because I got really lucky with those enemy drops. So thank you, random RNG, for that. It's awesome. Wow, that was like... 
I didn't have trouble with that temple, this temple at all, which is very surprising. But yeah, I probably will have to. I'm probably gonna have to get another um, key off screen because I accidentally used one that I didn't have to use. So I want to just make up for it, you know. It's gonna cost me around eighty. Well, this, I think the same shop I bought the um, the bait, you know, was I think the keys were only eighty dollars, eighty rupees or something like that. But yeah, with that we got another piece of the Triforce. We beat level seven temple, and it's that. So and that's that. So yeah. Awesome, I'm feeling really good now. Um, so yeah, this has been the end of my Legend of Zelda for the NES uh, Let's Play part. In the next part, we'll take on the level 8 temple. And after that, we can finish the, um, getting the rest of the Triforce of Wisdom. And then we can head for Ganon's Lair after that. So that's awesome. So this has been Giant Go again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Let's, uh, let's Play. Uh, my, um, the Legend of Zelda for the NES Let's Play. Thank you.